Hi, I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on annuities. Here we have an example based on mortgage. The question here is, my daughter borrowed $400,000 from the bank to purchase a new house. If the bank charges 3.8% interest per year, compounded weekly, it will take 25 years to pay off the loan. How much will each weekly payment be, right? So that's the question. Now, alternately, uh, we could also look into this problem in this fashion. Now, when you borrow a loan against a house, it is kind of a mortgage for you, right? So, so the same question could be a mortgage of 400,000, right? And the payment period is 25 years. We call it amortized, right? So is amortized over 25 years. Right? So when you are paid in 25 years, that is what? A technical language is with an interest rate of 3.8 percent per annum compounded weekly right so these two are exactly similar questions perfect so when you have something like a mortgage with amortized period uh, you follow the same method as we are going to do in this particular video right now again we have a case of present value so remember the formula for present value so the present value is basically Whenever you are paying a fixed amount monthly, we call that a recurring deposit, R times 1 minus 1 plus interest rate to the power of minus N divided by interest rate I. So that's the formula to be used. Now in our case, what are we given? We are given the present value. My daughter borrowed so much from the bank. So the present value of the money borrowed is 400,000, right? Now it's going to be very expensive by the payment has been made in 25 years. So you could also work out the interest paid over this period, okay? Now, second thing we have is that it will take 25 years to make pay off the bills. So that means uh, N is 25, but we are paying monthly, right? So since it is being paid monthly, so the will multiply 25 by 12, correct? So we say um, paid off um, per year, come, sorry, weekly. Okay, so if it is weekly, it is 52. Okay, there are 52 weeks in a year, so 25 times 52. 25 times 52 is 1300. So N for us is basically equal to 1300, correct? Since it is weekly, okay. 52 weeks in a year. Now, interest rate I weekly will be how much? This is per year compounded weekly, right? So it is 3.8%. So 3.8% means divided by 100, correct? And then weekly, so divided by 52 also. So that is what your interest, weekly interest is, right? So that is, uh, 3.8 divided by 5200. So we get a value, well, not a good figure to work with. 19 divided by, we'll just keep it like this, 26,000. Okay. So 19 divided by 26,000. Uh, so that comes to be the interest, weekly interest, right? This is weekly. Correct? And N is so many weeks, right? You understand? So that is how we have uh, the values given to us. We need to find the value of R. So we substitute all this and we get our equation. So the equation now will be present value 400,000 equals to R we need to find 1 minus 1 plus all this which is 19 over 26,000 to the power of minus 1300, that is the N value, right? Everything divided by 19 over 26,000. Is that clear to you? So that is your equation to work with. Only unknown here is R, which you can find. Is that clear? Okay. So let's cross multiply at least. So we get what? We get 400,000 times 20, sorry, so we get 19 on the top 
n divided by 26,000. 26, 1, 2, 3. Got it. Is equal to r times. We'll calculate this. Okay. Uh, 1 minus uh, 1 plus this. So, 26,019. So, we get 26,019 over 26,000. But all this here is to the power of minus 1300 bracket close correct so we need to find the value of r now okay let's see uh, if we can simplify this number or we could just do it in one shot right we could do it right okay or simplify this let's simplify so we have 400,000 times 19 divided by 26,000 equals to how much 3800 over 13 right this is simpler we have 3800 over 13 equals to r times what r times uh, 1 minus this is a complicated number so i like to use this number at the end that will be better for us right so because this will give us a lot of decimal values okay let's keep it like this 26,000 to the power of minus 1300. Okay. So, what is R equals to? So, R will be equal to this number, which is 3800 divided by 13. Everything divided by 1 minus 26019 over 26,000 to the power of minus 1300. Is that clear to you? So let's do it. So we already have this number numerator in the calculator. We'll divide this by use brackets, right? Use brackets. So one bracket and then we have one minus another bracket. So within this bracket, we have 26,019 divided by 26,000 bracket close. So inside bracket close to the power of minus 1300 and then we go down and close this bracket okay and what do we get well we get our value of r which is equals to 476.75 is that clear so all dollar values should be rounded to cents so reckoning deposit in dollars is 476.75 correct so our answer here is that weekly payment is equal to in dollars 476.75 is it clear to you so that is the weekly payment now the question for you here is find the interest paid total interest right so over 25 years correct so that you can find we now have figured out that in 25 we had to pay 400,000 how much was paid actually uh, we had this number 476.75 times 52 because there are so many weeks times 25 years right so actual payment made was so I'm writing the answer you should check this 6169775 and take away 400,000 so minus 400, 1, 2, 3, 000, gives us 219,775. So that is the interest paid in 25 years over 400,000 amounts, right? So almost 200,000, 50% of the payment which you make at 3.8% interest weekly will be around uh, interest you see that so that is how we need to solve such questions i hope that helps feel free to write your comment share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great thanks for watching and all the best